Greetings, people of YouTube. And welcome to Gunpoint. Gunpoint is an indie game uh, that self-describes as uh, a stealth puzzle game, uh, and it's coming out on Monday, the 3rd of June. Uh, it is uh, British made by uh, Mr. Tom Francis and uh, his friends. I don't think they have an, a name as a group, as a developer. It's been uh, in the making for three years, but I only found out about its existence. Uh, let's answer the phone and stop this buzzing. There we go. Um, it's been in development for the last three years. Uh, I only found out about its existence yesterday, uh, and I really, really like it. What you see in front of your eyes is actually a uh, demo of the game. It is not uh, the full game. Uh, it hasn't come out yet. I haven't really contacted um, anyone to get the the press copy of the game because I thought I, I played through the demo and I thought that what what's in here is more than enough to sell the game to whoever uh, would be into this kind of thing. So let's do that. So you start off as a um, um, as guy in the trench coat who fell off through one window and then through uh, a ceiling um, glass ceiling here and he's getting a phone call and someone's asking him uh, if if he actually jumped out of his window. So. The thing is, he had these trousers, uh, they're ballistic trousers or ballistic pants, depending on which side of the pond you're on, um, and uh, he kind of misused them and fell out of the window. So he's a spy, you play as a spy, I'm going to just go through the text, I'm not going to, you can download this demo, it's free, it's on the website, which is um, on the developer's website, which is in the description, the link to it, and I think you can get it also from Steam page, uh, it's coming out both on Steam and also just independently from the, you can get it from um, from the developers themselves, and uh, thus give them more money. Uh, so I'm not going to concentrate on text that much, though I will uh, say that it's uh, it's quite well written and uh, it is quite humorous, which is very nice. Um, and it's not, it's not like too cheesy funny, it's like good funny kind of thing. So you're this detective spy guy in the world of kind of the future, because there's quite a bit of hacking involved. And so this lady is trying to hire you. Uh, because uh, she realizes who you are and needs your services, she opens the door the door for you. But as that happens, actually something bad is is going to happen to her. So you can use the environment around you uh, to get to where you need. Obviously, we cannot open this door because we do not have um, the right kind of uh, finger uh, prints. So as we're going up to her, there we go. She's getting shot in the head. Someone jumps off the window, finishes her off, and goes into the subway. Um, so we need to kind of get out of here now, now that this has happened, we cannot really talk to her anymore. And we're in a building where there was a murder, so, um, can we, okay, we can't go up anymore. We can switch off the lights on and on and off. Um, but we can also, we, you can use the window here to actually jump off. And we can jump by uh, using our left uh, mouse uh, click, like so, and we have also kind of a glue on sticky gloves and, and shoes and stuff, so we can actually climb up the... Uh, walls like so as we are turning off all kinds of um, lights on and off again what is this thing a circuit box using this lets you crosslink things on the circuit oh yeah but we don't have the crosslink crosslink is the hacking device that you are gonna get um, slightly later in the demo and obviously I'm gonna show you that um, <laughs> in case it's not already uh, obvious long falls don't kill you because you're you're wearing all kinds of um, crazy trousers what is this Oh, okay, so, alright, so there's nothing else here for us except for, um, okay, you know what I want to do, uh, we just need to get away now, but I want to jump straight into the subway, let's see if I can do that, whoa, ah, almost, alright, anyway, let's jump inside, and go to the next, um, scene, oh, this is actually going back in time to see what happens, so we get the trousers, we're very excited, uh, maximum strength jump can shatter glass. We live in a bit of a rundown building there. Art is really cool, by the way. You haven't heard the music yet, but the soundtrack is amazing. It's it's very uh, sort of acid jazzy. I I would say I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on acid jazz or anything, but okay. So he tries it out, and that's how he ends up over there. Then he gets the call, and we already seen the rest of it. And this is gunpoint. And there's the music, by the way. I'm gonna let you listen to it for a bit. All right, so we get another call. The dialogue is quite fun. Um, I'm not gonna um, 
stop uh, stop and read it or anything because uh, it would take, I think, too much time. Um, just believe me that it's really cool. If, if you don't believe me, try it out for yourself. Uh, it's quite witty and um, it just basically leads you to your mission at some point. But do notice the music, please. I'm just, I'm just clicking this stuff at random. There's a nice bit of the dialogue that I will show just at the end um of uh, of the demo so basically what's going on story-wise at this point is like this is the lady who was employing the lady who was killed so he, she, she's like i know you didn't kill her but the police may think otherwise because you you are in the building like on camera in the building at the scene of the crime so you need to delete all the footage and it's like for update oh, sorry for up update up oh, for what do you do with your footage when you need to save it you what's the word jesus Backup. There we go. There's four stay four buildings where the footage is backed up, and you need to delete it so that no one can, you know, point a finger at you and be like, "Yeah, this is the guy." Uh, while we get or going there, we just can upgrade a bit of stuff here, uh, and uh, there's not there's a shop where you can get all, all kinds of stuff. I think we end up only getting this in the demo here. Um, everything else is in the gonna be the in-game proper. It's about 20 missions in the game, or so I hear. And um, yeah, we're just gonna accept this, and it's gonna start uh, describing to us what um, the actual uh, be uh, mechanics of the game are, and they're quite cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead again and start the game. There's different music, obviously here in uh, um, uh, in in the mission itself, and it's quite cool. And there's also different music when you're hacking, and it's quite nice. But just notice how fluid the game is, and I, I I'm really enjoying it because of how actually. Uh, it feels like a real world. It doesn't feel, I know it's in immersive in a sense that it is well made, if that makes any sense. Okay, so uh, we need to. The door is open. We just need to get basically. Can we even get there? Can I just jump through this window? No, I can't. Okay, so we just need to get over there on this other side. Uh, everything has been opened for us. We can fall. It's, it's no big deal. There's also laptops here somewhere. Oh, there's no way. It just gives you additional information. So, um, just gonna take the elevator up. I'm gonna actually stop here, get the, this laptop just because. And it gives you a, a, like additional information about the game world and you know what's going on, um, how things work, blah, 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 blah. So we go here, hack this thing, and this is basically the end of the first mission. And now I want to try and, can I? Oh, I can't really get to the, okay. What I want to do is I want to try and jump straight into the subway, but I don't think I can do that. All right, it's fine. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Let's jump now. Wee! All right, cool. So mission complete. The bit is a bit of a noise. Uh, if I didn't break the glass, it would not be a, a bit less noise. So there's different ways you can do each mission. It, it's kind of, in that sense, um, uh, reminiscent of um, basically any stealth game, but in, in recent memory, I guess um, Dishonored, but in a like a noir sense of uh, Dishonored, and I, I like this a lot more than I enjoy this. I was literally looking forward to Dishonored when it came out, or when it was about to come out, and um, I, I thought it was going to be great, and it is great in a way, but it also feels. Um, I'm just going to become a, like a review of Dishonored. I'm just going to stop here. Uh, let's just, it suffice to say that I, I think this feels a lot better than Dishonored. Um, for the reasons of like how the art is executed, what music it com comes with, and it's just less pretentious and it's less romantic. Um, it's also romantic, obviously it's noir, but still much less uh, so than, um, than Dishonored. So I think, do we need to, no, we don't need to buy anything. We just need to do this mission as well. So here, uh, we're going to be getting some guards. And guards uh, shoot you on sight. But what you can do with them is... Um, let me just demonstrate to you how they shoot you on sight. So if I were to just drop here... Okay, there we go. So I'm dead. Uh, let's go to... Uh, auto save four seconds. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's stop here. But he's looking the other way. And what we can do with the guards is we can jump on them. Now, I can punch him once and knock him out. He's knocked out if I don't want to do the violent way. Or I can uh, keep punching him in the face until blood comes out and he's dead. So I, I punched him to death, basically. Um, so it's a bit more tricky now here 
the way you deal with the other one, because he's obviously going to see you if, if you come close. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to show you how that works. So I think, is this door even open? No, the door is closed. So I want him to get out of there because he, I cannot open the door from this side. I don't have a hacking tool. If I did have it, I would, I would hack the door and open it. So I need him to get out. Now, the light switches are connected. So this thing controls his light as well. So if I were to do that, he would get nervous, come out and try to switch the light on. While he's doing that, I'm going to jump on him, punch him to death, go to the station, hack it, get the info, go up the stairs, and jump into the sub... Ah, oh, God, I can't jump into the subway. Come on, sub... Oh, there we go. Jump into the subway. <laughs> so that's done. And violence level is that of a psychopath, which is what I usually strive for in, in my gameplays. Okay, so this one's going to require a crosslink, which is the hacking device. It's basically like an app for your phone. Um, it reminds me of another game that's coming out soon. I think it's called Watch Dogs, where you have an app on your phone and you can hack into things. But again, um, that is a bit more 3D and fancy, and this is 2D and indie and looking really, really cool with really cool music. And I'm going to be repeating this probably again and again, but it is true, and that's why I'm saying it. So, accept. Go to the next mission. I, I'm not going to bother with this. Actually, I'm just going to go... Um, uh, press start mission on my iPhone. Okay. So here, what was here? Um, this thing, oh, so we start, like, we learn the rewiring. Oh, the, by the way, the music that I mentioned. So you hear this music, and then you go into hacking. And it's, it's still that music, but you get a different harmony into it, which is really cool. It's like, it's, it's so subtle and almost unnoticeable, but yet still there. And look how you see also the light coming out of the room into the darkness outside. Very nice. So, okay, so what you can do. So now, if we get there. So, is there a laptop here we can actually... Yeah, yeah, information. Okay. So, we need to get up here. Um, and we cannot go through this door. It's locked, right? There's nothing we can do. But what we can do, go into the hacking mode and rewire this. Uh, actually, no. Just disable. Okay. And... Rewire it to the door, so when I come here and I press the switch, the door opens. And I hack stuff. And I get out of there. And I get out of there. And of course, you can also do very quiet one and don't break the glass, but where's the fun in that? So let's break the glass. Oh, wait, I want to do a jumpy there. There we go. Whoops. And we're in the subway. Okay. So, I'm a ghost. Uh, let's continue here. I think, is this the one that's going to be... Cannot buy anything... Let's keep upgrades. Let's, let's say upgrade this. So I is I made this could be the last mission actually in the oh no there's there's this one and there's one more. So this is one where you actually use kind of hacking plus um, whatever you learned um, with your jumping. Um, so this is easy. Uh, he's he's looking the other way. Actually, let's do it this way. And so I can just directly jump on him. Don't want to kill him. Just leave him like that. Um, now as soon as I go there I think can he actually see me now what I'm gonna do now I think this is the way it's done so go to the hacking and make sure he cannot turn the lights on so he's gonna be walking around I'm gonna turn the lights off for him so he goes here and I buzz him when that happens so I'm gonna turn this off as well connect this to here and also connect this I think wait 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 I need to turn off the lights there we go let's do it that way see if that works if not we'll just reload so oh they worked immediately <laughs> so if you you can like supercharge the socket and um, and electric electrocute uh, the guards I, I'm not I don't know if he's dead or, or not but uh, yeah Previously, it didn't really work out when I was playing it um, without recording, because um, he just w w was not getting hit, and so I made him walk around by turning off the lights. So that's, that's what I was going for this time around as well. Okay, so we need to get out of here. Um, so we need to just rewire the thing. Oh, this is quite funny, by the way, look. And the door was going crazy last time as well, but it's not going crazy this time. Strange. All right, let me just try this thing again. Whoa, no, 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 dude, that's not what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, what if I do that? 
Okay, so that works as well. All right, never mind. Just testing things. And I think this is the um, penultimate mission. And then we're going to go to the last mission here, which is the... Oh, shit, I accepted it without getting all the upgrades. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. I think we can still do it. Just start the mission. So this is the more most exciting one because um, it, it's, it gets slightly difficult and it, it gives you basically a taste of what you can expect from the game proper. So now... Um, Things may seem easy, but they're not really. So, I could... You, or one may think that you can just get up there through the window and get to this guy. But what happens is, you just go up there, he <laughs> shoots you in the face. Um, I cannot come here because uh, even if I unlock the door, which I could do, uh, I have to... Actually, I could do that, but it's there's easier, easier easier way to go about this than that. So, what we can do is go here, no one can see us there, okay, and then go up here, this is actually quite funny, and just jump on this guy and throw him out of the window, like so, bam, that's pretty cool, so this guy's freaking out now, but he doesn't see us, and in fact, We could actually... Is there any sockets there? No, there's no sockets. Hmm, what's the best way to go about this now? Should I go upstairs? Is he just going to be walking around like crazy? Well, that's he's just making things a bit too easy for me. Hey, dude, how's it going? Whoa! <laughs> and that's two. <laughs> right. Whoa, 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 game, come on. Come on, frame rates. Jeez, what was that? Is that my antivirus again? Come on. So, this is hacked. That was kind of easy. Now, what we need to do is... Can we electrocute people? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's let's electrocute this guy, but we need to start him... Uh, make him walk around, right? Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, um, cancel this. Connect this to that. And also, you know what, connect this to that as well. C cancel that, cancel that, so he cannot, um, he cannot start, um, what was I gonna say, He's, he, he cannot turn it off. He's gonna try to turn it on again, as I'm gonna turn it off, but he won't be able to do that. But as he goes there, uh, I'm gonna try and buzz him. So let's see, turn it off. He's gonna walk around. Oh, he's not going that way. Wait, let's see what he does. Maybe he's gonna go all the way to the end of the room and they can I can buzz him. Yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, sorry, this always cracks me up. Alright, it's called elevator. Get in the elevator and let's go down. They cannot see you by the way, like this uh, tip here suggests. So he's is out of commission. So we can just safely hack this terminal here. It's all good. Now go down uh down a level to the ground level. And this guy that's probably Oh, she is looking at me, but he cannot see me. So, why don't we... Can I actually do it from here? Oh yeah, because the elevator door just opened, so obviously he's interested in what's going on. Hmm, okay, that's not, that's not gonna work, so let's go up. Let's go down the stairs. I wonder if he's gonna notice... Ah, he has no idea. He's looking at the elevator. There we go. And he's done. And this terminal is hacked. Cool. That's, that's, that's all good. Now, uh, let's just quickly open this. The, what? The door is supposed to open. What is... Why is this not opening? Okay. There we go. Okay, that's fine. No matter. We can always go to the top top floor and get to the subway that way. So this is basically a demo. There's a, uh, a little dialogue piece uh, just outside um, this mission here. Okay, let's try and get into the into the subway directly. Whoa! Nah, it doesn't work through the glass. Okay, that's fine. Uh, which is quite funny, and I'm gonna show you that until before I um, finish up or wrap up this video. So that's all good. Uh, yes, that's fine. That's great. So you get the next mission from someone in the, uh, from the prison. 
who is another employee of the same organization that is that lady the you know the boss lady that was um uh giving commissions from she she she's the boss she's one another employee in trouble and she's saying that, that the lady's husband is um is responsible for her being in prison and she doesn't know why this is happening so and asks you to find out so this is basically the pro the first probably proper uh non tutorial mission of the game um and it seems like you can accept it but the funny thing is that where you w normally start mission would be it says buy game and it's kind of incorporated into the game where he's saying um so he's saying no problem let's let's just go to that point and he um yes it's basically referring to him how he deleted all the uh all the footage what he can do and then he was like yeah i would gladly accept that where is that okay i think it should come up now okay there we go i'd like to help but someone replaced my start mission button and it's replaced by but with by game i think i've been hacked so that's the kind of um attention to detail that i was i was talking about that i think is very nice and uh very enticing um for me to get the game I, i'm even thinking of getting the the whole giant elite full pack deal with documentary and stuff like that that is because of how much i like it but um to remind everyone the game is coming out on monday the 3rd of june you can get it from steam you can get it from the developer themselves there's going to be a link in the description and if you obviously whenever you get any game from a developer's website as opposed to any sort of shop they get uh 30 percent more than they would get um if you get it from the shop and you'll get a steam key from the website as well and you can also get all these elite uh, game deals with all the additional stuff and films and also nine prototypes that led to the final product so gunpoint i think you should get it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye